Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to Factorio episode 6. In the last episode, we got uh, a little mall happening and some circuits. And in this episode, I want to get red and green signs automated. I don't know how extensive my pollution is because that might warrant uh, like turret walls already. But before I do the, the, the research, I'm going to make a, uh, a turret factory so we can have some turrets like cooking up for next episode when we make the wall. Let me just throw away all my trash in this chest. Okay, it's basically just all ores. Okay, so now I need a lot of belts. Good, we, that's not that many belts. Then again, we these are all like level one and this is not even making that many gears. Let me just flip this belt so that this can get more gears. Okay, this obviously does not have enough gears. So let's just pick up all these things. Let's get all that, let's get all that and all these. Let's get some inserters. That's a lot of inserters. Let's put the inserters over here and let's get the long inserters and put them over here. And let's put power poles here and furnaces over here. So now my inventory is kind of organized. Let's extend this by like a little bit. Okay, now we have extended this out, maybe like 10, 12, 15 uh, belts. So we have a little bit more room to play with. Now, the first thing is I want a turret uh, automation. So let's make turret by itself because it does take a, a fair bit of materials. So let's only make one because I think one is, I think one, I think one's enough or two. Let's do two. Actually, how much, how much, how much stuff does turrets take? Oh, that is a lot. No, let's just do one. Let's just do one. In this configuration, let's do that so we can have the turret in here and two gears put the iron like that and the copper like this so i have copper coming from here i have iron coming from here unless this can unless this wants a, a separate belt we could do that and then insert iron here insert copper here insert gears here insert iron to the gears over here and then the output would be a chest right here so this would be iron this would be iron this would be copper so copper is this one and then iron would be over over here and then we need a second iron which would be right here and can i fit that there no wait that oh okay that works let's do that and let's connect this that and connect connect and connect now we have copper and iron flowing into here let's get our let's get this powered up let's put some lights here how many lights are here actually 109 perfect that's that's a many lights let's put that in my slot and let's increase the backbone of our power poles put some lights over here let's, let's put four four lights and then let's connect well, actually I, wait okay yeah let's connect this let's make this uh stop at five stacks because in the early stages i'm gonna need a lot of turrets okay this is very slow we need so much iron for this stuff okay that's gonna be slowly cranking out these turrets um i want to light up my furnace thing probably <laughs> I just light up our iron and copper, but not steel because I don't have enough lights. Actually, do I have enough lights? That's not enough lights. That's not enough. What am I saying? Uh, 36. That's not enough. So let's just make our, uh, uh, let's make our research for now. So first things first, I have to clear out this forest a little bit to place it. And then we'll place our like research lab like over here where there's clear area. I should probably get a shotgun for this instead of just hand make. Oh, I need bullets. That's the other thing I need. Let's split this off and let's uh, do that. And let's put a let's put a machine over here. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's make this and put a chest over here. Lock it to two. No, that's not two to two slots make it make bullets and let's power this up so now we have a shells factory let's just make some to begin with i think actually should i oh this takes ages let's just make like 20. let's get rid of this horrible pistol let's put the the, the main gun with the shotgun boom okay for now it's gonna be really slow to shoot these trees out but eventually when i get some more uh bullet damage it's gonna be a lot quicker in fact let's, let's get rid of this let's just start making our uh, research now i don't seem to remember is it one gear 
per 10 red signs or is it the other way or okay i think i'm pretty sure it's one gear to 10 red sciences so let's make 11 no, let's pick up the gears from here so we make it so we can make these things a lot quicker pick this up okay we need one two uh that's too many let's make one more okay that should be 11 now since these are not uh i'm making at 1.0 speed i think it's like 0.7 or something oh it's 0.5 oh even blue or not blue is not even points uh, point, uh, one, one speed it's 0.75 okay okay let's put this let's do that and let's make it space let's put 10 of these in a row time to shoot these trees out here i gotta be careful not to shoot my own machines because that'd be a problem okay and then oh what okay and then we have and okay and there we have uh 10 now i have to put make this into gear and make this into red signs and copy and paste all of this here let's get iron over here and copper let's do let's do this here so round it off and not goes into here and then so the gears would be on the left side it means copper has to be here so this is iron top is iron bottom is copper let's do that and then let's connect this so this can have a belt so iron on top copper on bottom this makes gears copper on bottom this goes into here and then the outputs on this line so let me just insert this up okay now this is all inserted up now i uh i need more belts i ran out belts already how many belts are in here 305 that's not that many now i gotta pull copper on the bottom shelf wait now is this the bottom yeah this is the bottom shelf and let's do that connect it to here now i need to pull iron on this shelf let me just make a stop gap okay and then now we need uh this we gotta move this over to here and then to here so let's get the iron put it over here okay and now we have this now we gotta power this up by connecting it over to here so let me, let me just put some lights over here and okay, we got some lights and now this should start making the gears are gonna start flowing in but uh yeah, and we got our first red science. That's going to keep making, but there's nothing to go into, so that's going to stop over there. But now I have to make our green science, and green science is marginally more uh, expensive and confusing, or complex. Make it all these gears, get some green circuits. Okay, so we need 12. Uh, we need 12 uh, assemblers for green science. I think one belt and one inserter should be enough. Let's mix in half a second. Okay, yeah, I need exactly um 12 green assemblers and one for belts and one for inserters let's put this off like by one assembler because i don't know how much space is going to take now i gotta shoot some of these trees away that is six and we need to have two left so that's exactly oh that's on the edge let me get more trees out here Okay, now we have to place our two assemblers for our belts and inserter. Oh wait, inserters need gears, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay, let's just add a, a gear for belt and a gear for inserters. So let's do that and let's do that. I'm gonna move these closer. Okay, I don't really have much space to play with here. So let's try to do this. So I need this to be an inserter. I need this to be belt and I need these to be gears. So this inserts into here. And since there's already an iron here, let's do uh, that. Okay, let's have a, a dedicated iron for this. Actually, we don't need a dedicated iron for this. We need that. And then that would be the iron for that one and that one. So this will go into here. This will go into here. It'd be two arms going in here, two arms going in here. And then I have to split this again. But this time we also need a a green circuit. And then this will be inserted here. Well, let's put the insert over here so we can save them space. We'll have this go into here. Let's turn this in and let's turn this out. And let's get the belts to so we need to start the belt over here let's do that that and then that so the belt outputs over here let's put two inserters because they output two at a time and then now we need to do this belt and then that's where the inserters output so we can do that and insert over to here that is one too high so we gotta do over here and then now we can extend this all the way to the end and extend this all the way to the end and now we have our our green circuits they're all done actually let me let me uh put all the inserters in first okay now i have to connect this 
Oh, that's gonna be a little difficult. So th this bottom one is green. There's not space over here, but I can do space over here. And let's see. Oh, that's not gonna work. I have to do one lower and do this, that, and then over here. And then that will be our green. It would have to come over from here. Okay, I move this down one, do that, and that. And then let's disconnect this for here. So that will go over here. Now the iron. I would have to do this. So we'll do connect two over here. That is one, two, not enough. So let's do that. That goes into there. And then we are actually, we're actually ready to uh, put this into action. So connect the, the circuit, connect the iron, and we are on, we're in action. So this get, this puts in uh, iron plates and circuits, it's putting gears that makes inserters, and this puts in the belts, and this makes belts, and these require inserters and belts, which make green science. And any moment now, we should be getting our first green science on the belt. Yep, and we got our first green science. Our red sign's already backed up, which is a good sign. Now I have to put our laboratories, otherwise this won't work. And I'm gonna put down maybe 20 labs. Labs require iron gears, circuits, and belts. Okay, that's a really weird amount of materials. And we need circuits, or not circuits, we need gears. I can make one, that, that, that. Oh, that's not up here. Okay, that is 16. That should be enough. How much is this? This is, I'd make 10. One, okay, and that's two. That is five, and that's six. That's make one less. And now we have enough. Now I'm going to place our labs over here. Okay, so we have 20 labs on, e or 10 labs on each side. And that's 10. Let's get rid of these extra belts that we don't need. And we need, we have two in each spot. This is going to be reserved for the other two types of research, I think. Or or three, depending on how much I put in this main bus. Because this main bus is not able to support too many different types of sciences because they, they, it strains the iron and copper supply on that too much. Let me just put this one off. And let's put our long inserters so they can grab onto the other belt. And let's power this up. Okay, this uh, might not have lights because there's not enough space to put any lights because I put this in an, or uh, an orientation where there's no space for lights. So let's combine our red and green sciences. So let's get our green science down onto a belt and put them and connect them into one. So we have one belt that has both signs on them, bo both sciences on them. Okay, I'm not gonna connect them yet. I'm gonna make, place the belt first, and then we have that. Now let's connect this. Let's connect this off of the the green science lane. So that's all connected. Let's and now let's put this into here. And now we have our science. And let's get these. Oh, that's a lot of lights. Let's put this all back. We don't need that many lights. Let's put like a max of five. And let's continue lighting up our whole base. And I spent such a long time lighting up the whole base that it's turned from nighttime to daytime already. So now I can't really tell what requires light and what doesn't. So I'm just gonna eyeball it a little bit and s because I can't really tell now. So let's do that, do that. Okay, that should be all right. Okay, now our base should be all like lamped up and there's lights everywhere. So it shouldn't be too dark. Let's see how much power we're using. We're using about almost seven and a half megawatts. Um, probably more at nighttime, even though these lights don't really take that much power. Let's get some shells. Let's get, oh, that's a stack already. We already got 200, so that's perfect. And since we have some science going already, let's research our first thing. And the first thing is I need is fast inserters and, and, uh, and, Assembly Machine 2s, because Assembly Machine 1s are super slow. Let's get this first. This should research pretty- let's research- let's research QVs, and let's- this should go really quickly. Yeah, it's going really quickly. We're already at 20% already. And look, and we are done. Look, that's done. And let's do Automation 2 while that happens. And let's actually put, uh, fast inserters into the mall. So, we have- this is the space I've reserved for fast inserters. Let's put uh, them in here, let's put them in here, and let's put that in a chest outside. We gotta power this up. Well, what does this take? Oh, this takes, this one takes uh, iron as well. So let's do that, and let's do that, and let's put that, and now we're good. Now I never need this ever again. This, this can 
this doesn't have to be taken out of every day anymore. We're using fast belts now, or fast inserters, not fast belts. Okay, I made a five reserve bank, so let's do five here as well. And since you know what, let's start upgrading everything, every assembly machine to assembly machine two. Let's, let's upgrade as many inserters to, uh, to inserter, to fast inserters as much as possible. Okay, what do I need for these? I need a lot of circuits a lot of gears i really need like a chest of just i just need a chest of gears because i need so many gears for this stuff that's only for 30 really this is expensive let's upgrade the mall first because the mall needs to be upgraded first yeah look at all these gear things all oh, all upgraded upgraded look at upgrade upgraded upgraded even we can make fast inserters up uh, faster upgraded upgraded and upgraded upgrade the that one upgrade that one so our whole mall is upgraded to assembly machine twos we have 45. Let's ex let's change this. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's make this fast inserters. And now we have 48. Let's start changing these to fast inserters. This is just a hundred percent. This is plainly better. Just this is so much quicker. Okay, our whole main bus is upgraded to assembly machine twos and fast inserters. Technically, I don't need to add this anymore, but we're not even using these. I don't think I'm going to upgrade these to uh, fast inserters for now because, first of all, this is a lot of inserters to replace. So I'm not going to do that. And I think that should be it. Let's check on how many uh, turrets we have made since the beginning of the episode. Wow, we have already made 128. Now... I cannot tell. Okay, our our pollution seems to be rounding off at this point. So I think our pollution should be maybe about this big. I think better start about like right here, which is okay. We have a little bit more of a buffer zone, but we don't have much for long. And I think I want to make my I want to make my wall. Okay, so this is all locked. We don't have to protect this area. We can use some of these uh, cliffs as like strategic walls. Like we can put turrets here, turrets here, and like some turrets over here to patch up some of the holes and then for this side this is a really broad open terrain which is not good over here i want to incorporate this iron patch so let's do a wall from here all the way to this cliff and then we'll add uh, a cliff wall here 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 okay this is gonna be really difficult i, I don't know how i'm gonna put this all I know is that I want to get some of these materials, especially the iron ones, because they'll be really handy for when I upgrade to things that require more iron, like the fast belts. Oh my god, those take, those take too much iron, too much iron to even think of. Maybe use, uh, maybe for like future, when I start the railroad, when I start the, when I start the, when I start the rail world, when I start the railroads, I can probably use this one first, probably. Um, but for now, we're probably gonna make a perimeter wall that encompasses, um, at least these two irons and the coal, or not the coal, the crude oil. The crude oil and the two irons, we can later expand to get these coal and the oil and we got some copper and uranium. We can use that when we ever get, uh, nuclear. But right now, we're still using steam engines. But that has been that has been the episode. If you enjoyed this episode, you can leave a like, and if you want, and if you want to subscribe, you can do that. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.